This was hanging right next to my face. Awesome. Whew. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ariella. I make videos about medical school and my life as a second year medical student. It is Thursday, October 15th right now. If you guys have kind of been following along with my previous videos, yesterday I drove back from visiting my fiance in New Hampshire. I want to just put a really quick note out here that if you are planning on traveling within the US, make sure that you're doing so safely. Always wear a mask when you enter rest stops or gas stations. Get a COVID test if you can before you leave and before you come back so that you make sure you're not spreading the virus even if you don't feel sick. And as per usual, just wash your hands really well and use hand sanitizer more often than you otherwise might. So yeah, I just came back. I drove home yesterday. The fall foliage on the drive home was legitimately insane. It was so beautiful. A lot of it I couldn't really see in the beginning, which was kind of annoying because there was a really heavy fog and mist in the mountains on the drive home but once it cleared up it was so beautiful and i was like such a happy drive to just get to spend like three hours driving through beautiful fall foliage it was kind of like the perfect cherry on top of this past week however i didn't do any schoolwork yesterday other than going to my omm lab so i have all of the lectures from yesterday to catch up on including also the lectures from today that i need to watch i didn't do any yankee cards so i'm sure i have a thousand of those and i also have a primary care skills lab today which is not a big deal you just kind of sit in front of the camera and look presentable and discuss a case but it still does eat up a pretty large chunk of time I think it's an hour and a half we'll see if I can get all of those done I also need to go to the grocery store very desperately so I have a surgery lecture which you guys know I attend in person from 8 to 10 so I think at 10 o'clock I'm gonna go to the grocery store come back get started on work and then clean up my apartment at some point today. Don't look, it's a mess, I'm sorry. <laughs> but first, before surgery, I'm gonna take a really quick shower and get dressed for the day. I'm really there in inguinal surgery. But what are the advantages of doing it laparoscopic? Okay guys, so I just finished up my lecture and I took the quiz during lecture. I believe the lecture from nine to 10 is not mandatory, so I think I'm actually gonna take the time to go to the grocery store because I have literally no groceries. So that's what I'm gonna do. I feel bad skipping the second half of the lecture, but it just helps make my day a little bit more organized for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. And of course, now we put all this away. So I think I'm gonna get started on these long, long lectures that I have to get through. And I do have 754 Anki cards built up, which is just fantastic. I think this video needs a good, thick, satisfying study montage. So here we go. Okay everyone, so I just finished the lectures from yesterday. It's about, it's 12.22 right now. So I'm going to check my quiz. I got two questions wrong in my quiz, so I just wanna go through and see what the correct answers were. And then I'm going to start on today's lecture. So, so far so good. We'll see if we can maintain this pace, but considering I already went to the grocery store and I watched a lecture live today, I think I'm making pretty good time. We'll see. I'm gonna open this up really quick with you guys. 
Please don't look at my nightmare of an apartment. <laughs> I need to clean really badly. So if you guys follow me on social media, you know that I went on a hike recently. We hiked Mount Musalak on October 11th, I think, whatever that Sunday was. And when we got to the summit, it was probably 25 degrees. It was definitely below freezing. There was frost at the top. The winds were blowing pretty hard, so I imagine the wind chill probably brought it down to around like the 20s. And I only had on a pair of leggings, and so I decided that I wanted an additional layer for hiking that I could throw on once it gets to those really chilly areas. Something a little bit looser than just a pair of leggings, so that way it helps kind of act like a windbreaker. So these are from a brand called Stoic. They feel quite thin, which is actually exactly what I wanted. I would prefer if they had a little cuff at the bottom, but this isn't too bad. They've got nice zippered pockets on the sides and then also a back pocket. They do have a drawstring on the inside of the waist, which is good because I ordered these in a size large because A, that was the only thing that was available, and B, I wanted to make sure that they fit loosely over my legs to, again, kind of create that like windbreaker-like effect. And these are super light and um, feel like they're gonna be pretty good, so. Oh yeah, these are perfect. Oh, I love these. I don't know how much of these you guys can see, but they are fairly high rise. They're kind of bunchy right now because I'm wearing shorts underneath. I would obviously be wearing leggings but I feel like these are the perfect little extra layer. They're lightweight, they barely weigh anything. I'll put the ounces on the screen. I feel like these look really nice. I could even wear these like as business casual pants because they kind of have like a, a sheen to them that makes them look nicer than they are. Well, they're not, not that they're not nice, but they were pretty inexpensive and I'm honestly pretty shocked at how nice they are for the price. These are still online. I will definitely link them below because they feel like a really nice pair of pants. Let me tell you, I did not need this. <laughs> so this is the Patagonia Diamond Capra hoodie. It almost feels like, like a thicker version of their fleece, their um, cinchilla fleece. Yeah, I really didn't need this, but they don't make the Capra hoodie in the diamond pattern, and this one was on sale. They have like a woven Capra hoodie that's coming out, so I don't know if this pattern is ever gonna come back out, and this is what I prefer. I really don't like the woven one. So I'm gonna try this on and see if I like it in the mirror, because I think that'll be a little bit easier to see. I am so cozy. So I got this one in a size extra large, because I know that Patagonia stuff tends to run very small. Um, to be honest, I probably could have gone down to a large in this, but I still think it looks nice. It's gonna be a really nice, big, cozy layer. I like that the bottom of this is not cinched, so it kind of lays flat. I'm definitely sweating in this right now because this is like a fleecy material, but it's super comfy and super soft. I feel like I could bring this skiing and it would be really cozy. Not while skiing, but to a ski resort or something. Okay, I need to take this off, I'm sweating. Okay everyone, so I just had my primary care skills session. As you can tell, I've got my like fancy white clothes coat, white coat clothes on the top, uh, athletic shorts on the bottom. So I'm gonna change back into my comfy clothes, maybe take like a five minute break and then I really need to start all my Anki cards. That's gonna be the majority of the rest of the day, I think. And then hopefully I can squeeze in some videos. I feel like I've been saying that for the past several days and I just haven't gotten to it yet. And now we're really getting down to the wire because my test is in four days. It's on Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, four days, that's not exciting. Okay, actually I changed my mind. I'm gonna turn off the music really quick. I'm gonna change my fish's water first because I was gone for a week and there's enough evaporation that the filter is kind of making noise and it's bothering me. <laughs> so I'm gonna change his water first. I usually do like a 25% water change every week. That way I can just vacuum up a little bit of the gravel and also, you know, get some new water in there. So I'm gonna do that first before I start studying. Okay, no more trickling. So it's back to studying. I've been working for a little bit and for some reason now I have a really bad headache like right here. So I think I'm gonna let myself lay down and chill out for a little bit and then come back to the note cards. I'm pretty happy with my progress 
progress today and even if I don't finish the note cards tonight, I can definitely get caught up tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Okay, back to work. I don't usually study in my bed, but I was just feeling tired and I felt like I kind of needed a different place to sit down and do something. So we're gonna try this for now and see if we can be at all productive. Fingers crossed. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it from me tonight. Uh, it's about 8.40 and I decided that I want to go to bed. I have kind of a long day tomorrow and I just sent all the details for pre-ordering a new phone. So hopefully my video quality improves with that new phone because I film everything on an iPhone 10, which is about three years old now and that's not a bad thing it's a great phone and it's a pretty decent camera but the new iPhones have definitely improved the camera a lot so I'm hoping to get some significantly increased quality out of that so that's pretty fun yeah and I did not finish my note cards but like I said before that's okay so I'm gonna get ready for bed thank you guys so much for watching if you like these types of videos definitely leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel I post vlogs like these all the time and I will see you in the next one. Bye!